All right, everybody, welcome back to No Review Playthrough with Ryan today. After quite our heavy sessions with Arkham Horror, the card game, the last week, I thought I'd do something a little bit more relaxing and try Smash Up app today. Um, I do have Smash Up, and we have quite a few factions with this. The latest one is we bought the Marvel factions for Smash Up, and that was quite fun to add to the Smash Up universe. Um, so we've had this one for quite a while. Um, I don't have every... Uh, expansion every faction that's available here but I have quite a few and, and we do play this one quite a bit it actually has been a while since we've played it physically though so as I've kind of doing these digital playthroughs I thought I'd give the smash up app a try and see if it's worthwhile um, playing um, so I have only played one game of this um, earlier today just to kind of get a basic feel I'll kind of give you my uh, feelings of how the app itself works and uh, Overall, kind of give you an idea of if this is worthwhile playing on the app or not. So we have a whole bunch of options here. We don't need to learn the learn to play my game more games or the store. Obviously, if we're buying more expansions, let's just go ahead and play a bot today. Okay, we'll do a new game. So the thing is, I got a lot of options here. So obviously, we could do multiplayer here. Um, we could choose multiple players physically, multiplayer AI. AI difficulty. Um, we'll go ahead and do a medium. Pick AI factions. No, so I could force them into kind of some bad combos. Um, proceed button's kind of nice to have because it um, looks like it prevents you from accidentally going on without um, finishing your turn and whatnot. Um, faction select, user select, um, faction select duplicate. So I just, on my preview or try through game, um, it allowed us to both have the Wizards faction, which in real life you wouldn't be able to do unless you're, I guess, playing with two copies of the game. So that was kind of weird. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put no duplicates that give the true smash up feel for that. I didn't even pay too much attention. I was just kind of quickly going through here. All right, so we'll go ahead and confirm here. All right, so they are going with Bear Calvary, which weirdly enough, they did that on the last one. So I'm going to go Wizards. Because I like to do all the actions. Now, I did the Wizards last time, and I've always liked the Wizards, but sometimes all the extra actions and draws can get a little confusing. So, obviously, one of the app, things the app will do is keep track in the lower left hand corner. You'll see above the gear how many minion actions, how many, or how many minions you can play, how many actions you can play. So, it's actually really nice. Uh, obviously, like most apps, it will keep track of that for you. Um, and you do get the Geeks faction, which is kind of interesting because you only get that in the big box expansion. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and... and so the last one I tried was Wizards and Aliens. which was pretty decent, but with the Bear Cavalry, the Aliens didn't do a whole lot of good of moving minions because a lot of them are three or less. Or moving minions that are three or less and the Bear Cavalry didn't have a whole lot. I'm going to try and overwhelm them with Wizard Zombies. Alright. So they got Kitty Cats. Okay. I don't think that was in the base game either. Interesting. Okay. All right. So the one thing that you can see is you've got your three bases. You've got your cards. You can touch the card, obviously, to see what it's going to do. Um, the nice thing is you can kind of just scroll your hand through the cards. You don't have to necessarily pick each one. The nice thing, too, is if you accidentally select a card, you can cancel it. So that was really nice because as I was kind of scrolling through here, sometimes I'd actually press it too hard and would select the card that doesn't automatically play it. So that's kind of a nice feature um, that you can kind of do. So like right here, if I decided, oh, I don't want to play that minion, boom, I can cancel that. All right, let's see right off the bat if I can get an extra action. So I can get an extra minion, play an extra minion. I have two, so let's go ahead. This is going to let me draw a card first. So right off the bat, they've got a six there. So let's see what we can do to compete here. So I drew my card. Um, this is going to let me play an extra minion. I was hoping to get a different minion, but let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get it. And again, it wants to confirm. It's a little annoying that it wants to confirm everything you do, but that's okay. Um, the only thing I wish I could do is like slide, like push the card and slide it up to the base, but I have to select it and then choose which base I want it to go to. So it's a little extra fiddly that way, but maybe that's to prevent you from accidentally doing something you don't want to do. So I don't have a minion. 
Um, I don't want to. I could destroy this minion on the next turn and then pull it from their discard. So let's go ahead and. Um, don't really want to destroy me. Well. Well, okay. Let's let's go ahead and do this. Let's destroy this lady. I'll be able to draw two, and then I can. Do I have any more actions? I think I might be done though. Okay, I'm done. Okay. All right. So he's gonna move my minions around, and this just I guess wants me to proceed. Let me know that the turn is done. Okay. Um, so I have two actions because of my wizard here. Let's see. Place a card for my discard pile in my hand. There's my discard pile. Um, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that then. We're gonna play it. Discard pile. We're gonna play. Get that one back. And again, it wants to confirm everything you do. Even when some like the court card forces you to do something, it a lot of times wants you to confirm what you're doing. Okay, so the Tenacious Z, I want to get in my discard pile if I can. Okay, I don't need that yet. Okay, I do have then in my discard pile. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this now. We're going to play this lady. Let's go ahead and choose the base. Got to draw a card from her. All right, so now it's my minion turn. Um could draw a card. I won't be able to do another thing no matter if I draw a good card or not. Let's go ahead and do this minion here because I can possibly do an extra action. Yeah. And again, it always wants to confirm everything. I guess that's not the worst thing. Okay. Oh, they turned my... So in this case, it wants me... I think it just let me know like I could confirm, oh, this is what it did before I continue on so I don't... I mean, I could, I think, check it later, but it's a little bit of extra turning here or extra confirmation on everything. Um, search your deck for any number of cards with the same name. Okay, love this. Okay, so we're going to play this and we're going to get those tenacious Zs out of my card. So this is the only part that's kind of tricky. Is... Um, is well luckily the computer knows which one i picked so it probably did everyone so the hard part is if you have to search your deck you can see that huge pile of cards it's a little hard to see um so now i can do tenacious z from the graveyard um let's go ahead here i think this is yeah for each player then so i want to overwhelm that that's perfect for me um let's see if i can get so that was already in my hand i can draw a card um, discard pile into my deck. Let's not do that yet. All right, let's do play an extra minion. Um, tch -tch -tch -tch. Discard returns to the top of the deck. This might let me play an extra action. So I'm going to just try and flood that. I got to return it to my deck. Okay. Oops. <sighs> End my turn too early. Should have known. Okay. So you can see at the bottom too, it's telling you exactly what they're doing, which is kind of nice. Sometimes I just ignore because it kind of just goes. All right, let's not try and screw that up again. Um, reveal the top card. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so here's a minion. And again, place in hand. Minion, place in hand. So again, it really wants to make sure you know what you're, what you're doing here. So these are all actions. And I don't know. This is the one thing that I thought was weird. I have to put it back in my deck. It should know that, I think. But okay, whatever. All right. So look at the top of the discard or return the top. So I think I want to start. Let's see. Is there anything that's going to let me play an extra minion? Okay, so let's go ahead and play this zombie up here. Um, 
Yeah, let's go ahead and return that to the deck. Okay, still have this action. Um, discard into my deck. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that now. I got quite a few cards in my discard. Let's go ahead and put them back in my deck. Okay, um, oh, there's my discard. Shuffling this kid. It's going to ask me to do one at a time. Let's just go ahead and do them all. So in this case, just be able to select and then hit, select each one that you want and then hit shuffle instead of one at a time it would be a little bit more effective. Okay, so we're done. Drew my two cards. What'd I get? Um, they can't play minions there. Okay, that'd be kind of slow down the mall one. Let's go ahead and put that action here. Okay, um, play in extra action. Tenacious Z. I thought those were all my... Oh, that was smart of me. Yeah, I probably should have left the Tenacious Zs in my discard pile. Duh. I think I shuffled those up. Um... Draw a card, extra action. <clears throat> Let's see. And they reduced all of my guys down to minus one. Ugh. It's going to take me forever to get that base done. Hmm, do I give up on that base now? They're almost ready to score this other one. Let's throw, let's throw a minion here. So I get a couple points if this scores, or when it scores now. Um, okay, so why am I doing this? I'm not sure. Oh, it's because of my Acolyte, okay. All right, we're gonna search this for an action. Okay, um, yeah, there's so many to do here. Let's get this one without going too far or being here forever and searching. Okay. And it's just highlighting all that that base is going to score. <clears throat> yeah, they really kicked my butt on this plaza mall. Aren't we scoring this base? No, okay, for some reason it's taking forever. <clears throat> All right, I almost need to just probably give up on that mall now. They just shut me down horribly. Yeah. All right, well. Let's go ahead and draw two cards, see what we get. Okay, I need to get a Tenacious Z out so I can start discard playing it for my discard pile. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two extra actions, will that help me? Place a card from your discard pile into your hand. Hmm. I don't have any minions in my discard pile yet. All right, let's try this. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, we're going to continue. I guess there wasn't anything there. Okay, I moved one of my cards. Got rid of my zombie there. Dang, these bear cavalries are kicking my butt. I was hoping to swarm them with zombies and I might not be doing a good turn here or give a good game. Okay, so let's begin my turn. Okay. I do have some minions in my discard pile. Oops, do I want to do that? Play an extra minion, yeah. Let's let's do this. Okay, um, 
Choose a base. Yeah, they're kicking my butt on both of these bases. Well, not both of them. Okay, let's go up here. Let's see if I can put some pressure on this base up here. And I got this. Yeah, we definitely let's grab that. Let's draw two before I. So we get okay. Let me play an extra action this turn. If I do that, let's go ahead and play two extra. Let's play two more. Do I have anything in my discard pile? Another? Yeah. Let's go ahead and. Let's go ahead and play an extra minion for my discard. Okay, and we'll put them on this base up here. Again, I need to do the swarm effect here. Okay. Alright, uh, destroy one of your minions, draw cards, place a card from your discard pile into your hand. Um... two cards let's get this yeah okay so let's oops I think I chose the wrong one yeah I chose the wrong one okay let's do this one again it's kind of having that undo is kind of nice let's grab this one again okay I'm gonna run out of stuff ah stop moving my zombies Seems like they pick the bear cavalry just to, yeah, they keep moving, yeah, jeez. Well, they stored it on that base that I don't really care about at this point. Okay. I don't want to shuffle my huge hand. Okay, let's play an extra minion for my discard pile. Okay, um, draw a card. Top of the deck. Let's get this enchantress. Ooh, the zombie lord. Sweet. When you play an extra minion. Ch -ch -ch. Okay, so I don't want the bases about to score. Let's just throw. Let's throw this little guy up here on this base yeah we'll put that in my hand or I could have played it shoot I forget that um, I don't want to do that now because I'm just gonna grab a lot of minions that I'm gonna have to discard still have an action turn yeah let's go ahead and do this um, What am I doing? Put in my discard pile, yeah. I want those in my discard pile. And I'll try not to put them back in. And it's weird that it asks me to sh pick it. Or I have to hit the button to shuffle my deck. Alright, so that'll put us a little above. Okay, so... Um, I'm trying to see what that says. I can't see the whole text. I think that's... Oh, there it goes. It eventually scrolls. That's right. Um, into my hand. Okay, two or less into my hand. No, I want that tenacious... I would need the tenacious ease of my discard. Yeah, let's grab, let's grab an enchantress. Okay, so jungle oasis, just two points. Okay, so I'm yeah, I'm almost giving up on this plaza mall. This action here, I don't have anything to get rid of actions that. Okay, so let's see. That's only two points. Can I get? I can get actually three points even if I get second place. Let's go ahead. Why am I discarding a card? Oh, I have too many cards. I need to end my turn. I, okay, it's not my turn. I have to end my turn. Where's this one? Um, yeah, let's get rid of that one. One more I need to discard. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's get well, let's get rid of one of these enchantresses. Okay, and they're just slowly destroying. The nice thing is my wizards or my archmage is still out there, so I'm getting a ton of stuff I can do. All right, so maybe I can start overwhelming. I don't know if I'll win. Let's go ahead and do this because the other one. Because I'm going to get three points on this base, even if I get second place, versus just throwing all my cards on the top base. Okay, so let's see if I can get some extra minions out. Let's go ahead and, yeah, let's put some pressure. I probably won't get. Okay, um, minion of two or less where I have no minions. Okay, oops, that's a three. Wish it would just show cards that are playable. All right, let's go ahead and do that one. Turn to deck. Okay, so the thing is, is I don't think I'm going to overpower my uh, this. Oh, they're showing the base of scoring. Yeah, okay. Um, so maybe I don't know. I'm putting that zombie lord on the best one. Discard pile into my hand, play an extra minion. Don't really want to do that because the next base is probably going to be better. Destroy it. How many cards do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I don't really want to draw any cards now either. Let's just end my turn, I think. Ah, I've got two actions to play though. Let's. I don't want to. Throwing cards up on that top base. I really want to... It's going to come down to what's ever on this last... Yeah, I think I'm just going to end my turn, to be honest. I didn't see any much point of putting cards on that top base, for real. Okay, so it's pretty much going to come down to whoever wins this next base. Well, ugh, not with that rate. Choose one to discard. Yeah, let's discard this. Turn that guy off. Okay, so I need to try. I need to. I definitely need to win this base. Play an extra minion on a base where you have no minions. I don't really care about that. So let's do. Okay, let's put. Let's. I gotta win this base, so let's put the pressure on here. That's Tenacious Z coming from the discard pile. Need to try, okay, I need, let's do this. I need to play an extra minion. Let's draw a card, see maybe I can. So I have an extra minion. Okay, that's good. Um, just card pawn in my hand. So I have another minion to play. Oh my gosh, my discard pile is huge. Um, I think what I wanna do is, let's go ahead and do that, because I, I think the zombie lord, let's find the zombie lord. Yeah, I wish it just showed you the... I don't know why it shows you every card. There he is. Let's get that guy. That'll help put the pressure on the space. Okay. Um, that can get me more minions. Draw some cards. I don't want to really destroy a minion. Card from your discard pile into my hand. Let's go ahead and do this. Because maybe that'll give me something I can play. Yeah, let's try this. Place in my hand. My turn is done, okay. One to discard. Let's get rid of this again. Okay. So I want to try and play as many minions. We want to try and break this base so that he doesn't have a chance to add more. Okay, let's do this. We're going to play an extra minion for my discard pile. Play an extra action, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we only need one more point, so I don't need to overdo this. Um, let's just throw her up here then to break the base. 
Okay, so I easily won that now. Again, I've got two bases that are almost useless, so I hate to play extra minions. I just want to play something that's going to help me. What do I got here? Oh, the Tenacious Seas. Yeah, I really don't want to do those. Um, I could grab a bunch of cards, but then I'm probably going to discard. Draw. I don't want to destroy anything. Let's just, yeah, let's end the turn and score the base. Oh, I just realized that he's going to get three points for second place. Duh. <sighs> Guess I'll destroy that minion. I just made myself lose the game, didn't I? I wasn't even paying attention. Sometimes I totally forget those middle ones. Yep. All right. So so far it's not a bad little app. Like I said, I'm kind of curious though. Two, two out of two times they've played the Bear Cavalry. Um, didn't come into too much play that time to be honest. But uh, all right, not a bad little thing. Um, let's see. Um, so I got the starter pack. So this shows what I have, okay. Um, so do I, is it, okay, so the starter pack. So what's this, if I click on that, okay, that's showing what's in the starter pack. Okay, the awesome level. So they have it. They don't. They don't have. They don't have very much. It looks like. How much is that to buy? I don't think I bought anything. Yeah, I haven't bought anything. Some ninety-nine cents. That's not bad, I guess. Yeah, I don't know why I hit restore purchases. So by now, 99 cents, that's not a bad little price, obviously. For versus like 15 bucks for the real version. Nine, yeah, 99 cents, that's... I know this has been out for a while, so I'm kind of... kind of disappointed, to be honest, that they don't have more. I mean, I know I'm not a programmer or anything, but I can't imagine how much it takes to program a, a card game like this into a digital version, but... I know this has been out for a while. Hmm. Okay. You know what? I'm going to play these. Uh, so that would give me the... So that's interesting. The bot played against factions that technically are not in my game. I guess that's because I don't have those decks. So let's go ahead. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do these. And then that will give me more options the next time. I mean, 99 cents. And we'll go ahead and get this one too. I probably just slowed it down. I think it's good enough though if you play it more. Okay. All right, there we go. There's that. I just need to, I guess, confirm that. Okay. Available now. Owned. Owned. Okay. That'll give me a few more options when I play. So, there's Smash Up for the digital card game on the, uh, well, I'm playing on my iPad today. So, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.